That's a funny story. Um, let me backtrack. I don't come from a family that attended church regularly. My parents never went to church, never forced us to go to church. So my uncle brought me into church at Vienna one day. But my journey with Christ didn't really begin there. It began in middle school. I went to a private middle school. It was Christian based. And I got to know, I got to be part of the youth group. It was a unique youth group that, uh, that was very mixed. It wasn't the typical youth group that you would see at CAB. It was very less fortunate people there, if that makes sense. We, we come from all different uh, backgrounds of life, but I remember one day, you know, we were all working we would all go and do these um, projects for all the people, older people at the church. We would, you know, help do the lawn, you know, help do the lawn care and do stuff like that. But I can't remember what happened, but something tragic happened to one of our friends. And I remember everyone just coming together and holding him and being there and that that's when it hit me that God God's here. God's with us. You know he you know, I just remember that feeling of God being in the room and just was amazed that a bunch of people you know, we had people with criminal backgrounds in our youth group, and we weren't even 18 yet, <laughs> you know. So it just amazed me that, you know, he brought all of us together as one group. Was, that's a funny thing, because people see my physical differences, they see my physical challenges. But to me, it's been a part of me my entire life. You know, I know I'm friends, but I haven't been disabled their entire life. You know, something tragic happened. Well, my tragic moment was that birth. I said, I'm, my dad told me I'm a miracle every day in my life because I was literally stuck. At birth, I got stuck. I was black and blue for 12 hours. My dad tells me that the doctor pulled him inside and said he may not make it to the night. And I did. I'm here. And I've accomplished so much that it's just amazing to me. And it's nothing short of God. Nothing short of God. It's been amazing ever since that moment where I'm committed and serve God. You know, I can walk now. Before I was 14, I would have to crawl around my house. We, I would have to use my wheelchair just to get to the car. You know, but now God has blessed me. I've been through a hospital where they put Botox injections in my legs. And I, through that therapy, I've been able to walk. I don't need my chair half the time that I used to. You know, sometimes my chair is more of an inconvenience than a convenience in certain situations. I'm the freedom and awesome. There are things that I, I'll tell you what, I haven't, I only recently discovered that freedom. Last year I was going through a big decision 
you know, my schooling, should I continue on the path I'm going or does God have something else for me? And I remember sitting on my bed talking to my uncle who brought me to church. And I was talking to him and I said, I'm stressed. I don't know where to go, what to do. I'm stressed. I can't sleep. I'm trying to decide what to do. Because I know this journey will affect my my future. I don't never forget it. My uncle stopped me right there. He said, Justin, you know Jesus, right? He said, yeah, you know I do. You know he's got your back. He said, yeah. Throw worry out of your vocabulary. He said, throw worry out of your vocabulary. Put it all to God. Wow. And right then and there, I hung up the phone. Sure enough, gave it to God. And now I have a good job. I got a, a college course that helped me in the shop and make a good career out of it. It is, I'll never forget that day. Oh, this brotherhood is priceless. Because I know without a doubt, if I'm struggling with anything at all, that I can pick up the phone and call brother. I can pick up the phone and say, hey, I need you. I'm struggling with what's going on. I need to talk. And I know without a doubt, one of, you, one of the brothers will... Either A, talk to me right then and there, or meet me somewhere and just talk, pray, give it to God, and give me those reminders that I need to press on and keep going. I mean, this brotherhood is priceless. It's a family. I mean, it's thick and thin. It's nothing short of that. I'm Justin. This is my story, and I'm a man passionate about crime.